Good morning, everyone. Strafe Gal. We are playing some more Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. I have to stop myself every time to stop myself from saying Castlevania. That was actually kind of rough. Okay. We are going to go the regular route this time because uh, it's kind of fun to do the different routes since we can't do a lot of them. He said as he got pummeled repeatedly by the awful monsters. So, this is our Zangetsu run. We were really between a rock and a hard place there. Uh, this is our Zangetsu run, uh, so... Only Zangetsu, the other characters, were sacrificed uh, instead of joining the group. And we are playing on veteran mode, which is why we had knockback there. I was kind of hoping we could slip through there underneath, and we could not. Now I know. We actually came out of that better than last time, which is impressive. Uh, we're up to stage 5, I believe this is, uh, which is the ship. These things hurt so bad, and they are very annoying to kill. Unfortunately, we have now have to kill this guy. I'm hoping that this is a checkpoint. Or something very soon will be. Um, let's get a real weapon. I just got exploded upon, and I realized I should have gone down to not take the shortcut anyway. Oh good. <laughs> I really should have. That just proves it. one-up. I'm out of weapon power. 
I was already way too deep by that point. I was trying to throw at the ground, which would have gone through the projectile and landed on him. And I did not. <laughs> We are getting wrecked. Um... <laughs> you know, maybe we're doing this. as I hit him. Otherwise, that would have been enough. Okay. Um, we're back at the beginning of the stage. But we've died a lot, so there's not that much to redo. idea how I managed to stack them up perfectly right there. I'll take it, and we are going to try this. I wish there was a little bit better signaling when it was going to run out. That is way easier than I was making it out to be. Okay, we're back where we were. I wanted and actually switched me not to the weapon that I had previously from that one and still maybe manage but I feel like these guys just keep respawning and that might be the case That one felt bad. 
I actually, that was probably the best I have ever gotten through that section. And that was rough. I need to remember to grab that point bag every time. Those add up. Good news, we got a one-up. Bad news, I got hit by the same freaking attack, same freaking bounce, <laughs> where it's hitting me from the front or from the back in a really awkward way. Oh, this is annoying. Mistake again. Still got it for now. That guy is now my nemesis. I have decided it. happened again I honestly don't know what weapon is even best for that section I was checking that candle to see if it was points, because if it was another point bag, I was gonna start making that part of my route. Um, we are real close to 40,000, so we could technically get an extra life here. That's the worst part is, even if we do get it this time... Never mind. <laughs> Okay. Whew. 
that was an accident to reactivate and might actually be problematic because I just ran out. Do something a little weird here. Oops. I wanna try this. We're not changing characters right now. Oops. So, the default setting for dash is the uh, top button, so where the X is on the standard uh, SNES controller or triangle on the PlayStation controller. So I just moved that to R. To give myself a little bit better ability with it. That feels real good. That was a mistake! Thought I finally had it. <laughs> we were so close. I really hope that that's the checkpoint right afterwards so we don't end up having to do it again and when we inevitably die horribly. Okay. the dash better on R. <laughs> that may have been a little too aggressive. Okay, I got it correctly last time because I jumped kind of over him and came in from the top more. That's okay. About ready to get our extra life at 20k. So the first time when I got knocked back, if I hadn't double jumped, I wouldn't have gotten hit. The second time, I was thinking about that and therefore decided to double jump, or not, not to double jump, and consciously, and ended up screwing myself over because 
I didn't jump high enough. And Zengetsu's jump is real stubby. I was like, if I stand on that platform, I'm gonna get knocked into the pit. So I need to jump. Should I just go to the right here? Like, how many times do I try this? This is my third continue on this. I just remembered that there was another section over to the right that we could have done. Fire ran out at just the wrong time again. I am absolutely terrified of that pit right now. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There are pits there. I don't even care. I really hope we didn't just miss the heart that's like the last heart before the the boss or something. But I don't even care. If, as long as there's a save point, I don't care. Portrait room? Okay. I don't even know what these things do beyond just fly back and forth and kill me. <laughs> I don't even know if there was a checkpoint there or not. Okay, we're gonna try right. We're gonna try going right this time. Also, for the record, uh, we are no longer doing uh, uh, two stages per video, it sounds like. Obviously, that's what happens when you take four death. And honestly, it's kind of ironic because this is about the point in like Castlevania 3 where we would have probably had that kind of death count anyway. say go right. I'm talking about right here after the bone dragon. Although there's a heart. Can you go? I'm curious if we can go down and then back, get the heart and come back up. I'm also curious if the section with the shortcut is actually worse than the section we just did. 
That'd be kind of ironic. In the Alanis Morrison kind of way. Okay, so we're gonna do this. See if we can just go this way. I will also say for the record, we are very quickly leaning towards turning veteran mode off. Well, uh, if this keeps up. Uh, my goal was to get as far as I could with veteran mode, but my ultimate goal is to beat the game. And while I do enjoy, uh, you know, relatively challenging games, when I'm getting to the point where I'm frustrated, I don't necessarily want to keep playing on the harder difficulty. That is easier. It's still annoying. This whole section so far has been kind of annoying. Uh, specifically anything with those... Oh, I hate that. <laughs> There's still like no hearts leading up to this section. Which means we're just gonna get killed by the painting again. And I guess we'll find out if there's a checkpoint. I don't know, we've got 20 sub weapon and the whip this time, as opposed to uh, what we had last time. Yeah, that went a little better. Hey, that bash is coming in super handy for this section, at least. Those guys take three hits, and I almost just walked into him and died. <laughs> hey, there's a wind in that section. <laughs> I moved very quickly off to the side there. Okay. Wind is still annoying. So you do actually slide, or you walk faster to the right and fall faster to the right. So I just need to do this. That was still close. Like, we still almost fell off there. That's really crazy.
Okay. That is possibly the most annoying location for one I've seen yet. to me that there's a way to uh, damage boost up there, and I'm pretty sure you can't. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die before I actually get up there. jump really, really carries. Oh, I hate this wind effect. So just to be extremely clear, I just want to take a moment. So this is natural, like when I'm holding nothing. When I'm holding right, I walk faster. When I'm holding left, I walk slower. If I stop an attack, I slide and the dash goes really fast. And because it's Castlevania, you can't actually drift very far in the air, regardless. I think I actually know much about how to fight this boss, unfortunately, because last time I just used the... I just cheesed it out with thunder. So I think we're gonna have to learn this boss a bit too, which is unfortunate because we only have three lives. We hit him twice! Oh! You can break those things. Okay. See, this is the kind of thing that we need to figure out. And unfortunately, I'm pretty sure we've got a bit of a jump here. Are you serious? Screw you, game. Like, seriously. Honestly, I kind of wish you could toggle between the two, uh... I wish we could turn infinite lives on without turning off the knockback. Because honestly, that's the most annoying part of veteran for me right now, is the fact that I have to redo sections. Like, I'm gonna have to redo everything if I take one more death, which I'm... The odds of actually getting through all of this... Like, I barely know how to fight this boss. I definitely don't know all of its patterns. We're probably screwed. We're 
probably gonna get one more life. Assuming that there's some points floating around in one of these. Making me super nervous. There's not enough points in there. So this is it. Nope. We're gonna see if we can make it work. Don't feel bad about that, even. Don't even feel a little bad about that. Okay. Now we're running, gonna run into a little bit of a problem. Because I don't actually know how to hit him without the whip nearly as easily. Without being very patient, which maybe that's just what I need to do, but... I feel like I'm barely getting hits in that thing. I also feel like I'm, I've gotten hit trying to hit him while he was jumping, so... That felt a little better. We are very much... This is literally last life, finally. We, we cheesed out one more life by killing the poor little guys. Um, like to actually finish this. Um, unfortunately, we are probably- we are down to health, so I'm not super confident here. I'm kind of hoping with the pattern figured out a bit better, we can get it a bit more going. We got a hit. It's better than nothing. Was not paying close enough attention to the timing on that one. Two hits that time. We're getting there. Got a hit that time. Three. We're getting there. We're getting there.
I don't actually know. I was just gonna say I don't know how to dodge his death attack, and I still don't know how to dodge his death attack, but we survived with one health after four frickin' continues. So, we're gonna wrap this video here. I'm gonna keep trying. I said I was gonna keep going on a Veteran as long as I could. If I hadn't made it that time, if I'd taken another game over, I probably was going to change it. But I keep getting this close and then making it. <laughs> so clearly I'm still on the right track. Hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one.